Here is an updated tutorial on how to get timeline for Bone Lab Patch 6. Before I even say anything, this will require Melon Loader or Lemon Loader if you're on Quest, so if you don't have that already, then go watch a different tutorial. For some reason, after my last tutorial, a lot of people assumed that I had made the mod, so just a disclaimer before this starts, this mod was made completely by Not 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 Swipe, so big thanks to him. Anyway, so first you're gonna wanna hit the first link in the description to bring you to this website, GitHub. In the top left, you're gonna see there's also a way to get full body tracking, but make sure you're on timeline. And Obviously, you're going to want to click download. Once your DLL finished downloading, as you can see here, you're going to want to find your game. So if you play Bone Lab on Steam, on the left, you're going to search up Bone Lab. You're going to right click, manage, browse local files. And from here, you're going to want to drag this DLL into mods. I'm not going to do it because it's already in there for me. But if you're on Quest, you're going to want to find your Bone Lab. I don't actually have Bone Lab on Quest, so I'm going to use Boneworks, for example. You're going to want to click on the three dots, details. And then right here, there's going to be a little button. It's going to allow you to copy and paste. Then you're going to go to your file explorer and paste it in. And you're going to want to do the same thing by just dragging the DLL into mods. And congrats, you now have timeline. This part is completely optional, but if you want a cool blood effect that people like Frowny use for their Bone Lab timeline videos, then click the third link in the description to install a code mod called self-harm. This mod makes it so you could well harm yourself. This also works when you use it on a clone of yourself in timeline, and you would install it like you would install any other code mod. I would also recommend getting Ragdoll Player from the fourth link in the description. Anyway, let's get on to the segment of this tutorial where I teach you how to use timeline. Alright, so I'm in Bone Lab here. To open the timeline menu, you're gonna wanna go to your menu, preferences, bone menu, timeline. Remember, if you don't have bone menu, that means you don't have melon loader, which is required for this. So I'm going to want to turn on self harm and ragdoll player. You could set it to whatever you want. So we're going to want to see if timeline works. Boom, it does. So say I want to make a video where I grab a gun, reload it, and then shoot someone. I recommend going into settings and keep all of these enabled. We're going to go to timeline, scene, record. There's going to be a three second timer before it actually starts recording. So you could get ready. We're going to click record. Three seconds, go up to the gun, grab it. And then go back and click stop. Now if I click play, you could hear myself. He grabs the gun, reloads it, and shoots. For some reason, sometimes, as you saw there, the blood doesn't work, and I myself actually don't know a fix for this, so I apologize for that. But to prove it does work, I'm gonna do a basic test. Grab the dagger, and just start stabbing right here. Then we're gonna play, and put my hand right here, and see he's actually stabbing my hand. And it's actually killing me. Look, I'm bloody now. So this is really fun to mess around with and just make little, like, short films. Unfortunately, modern weapons like the Desert Eagle don't actually work with Timeline. You could see them, but you can't hear them. And for some modern weapons, they just don't shoot. So make sure you use stress level zero made weapons. Or if you want to use a modern weapon, test before you actually record. And at any point, if you want to pause it, but you don't want to restart the entire video, there is actually a pause button. So see, he is paused. Yeah, I don't know what pose that is, but just like that, you can make some really funny little short film things. Obviously, I can't show you a lot because I'm not as talented as people like Frowny are. Say there's someone right here and I just ran them over. Boom. Click stop. And boom. You can see me driving around. It actually transfers perfectly, surprisingly. Look, the dude's just chilling. Car comes. Runs him over. It would be appreciated if you subscribe and or donated to Not Not Up Swipes as Ko-Fi. Because obviously he's the one that made this mod. Subscriber, this will happen to you. Oh!